even if you ate it or stuck it up your hole. Um, Tuesday, can you guess where we're going? I bet you can't guess. Are you even trying? Did you guess? Where do you think we're going? Come on, I'll show you. Yeah, this is when I go flying out of here and smack something. She left the gate open on the forerunner. Oh, <laughs> smack right into 10 gallons of fuel. Messing around being an asshole. Come whipping out of there. All right. If you guess we're gonna pick up these two by fours, then you were correct. I don't think you guessed it though. Then we're gonna go around to the other side of the building and pick up the cutoff saw. I think that's what, what you guys call it, cutoff saw. Miter saw, cutoff saw, radial arm saw, I don't know. It's a chop saw that goes forward and backwards also. I bought the cobalt one, had a laser on it. At the time, the one from um, DeWalt did not. And uh, it's pretty badass, I've been very pleased with it. And then I think I have, I think it's the DeWalt? I think I have the DeWalt um, mount that it goes onto, right? It's like a giant long saw horse but all this stuff mounts onto it. They seem to all be interchangeable. And then I bought the, I think I bought the Cobalt table saw. Where is the table saw? There it is. Delta, I bought the Delta table saw because it was the biggest one I could get at Lowe's and it had an all metal surface. And that would work fine for what I'm doing, but I hate setting up the table saw and moving it and stuff. So if I can do it with the cutoff saw, it's always way easier. What am I doing? I'm gonna build a uh, little enclosure around the little, I guess it's a patio, little entryway into the tiny house over here. I'm gonna frame it in and uh, put clear plastic all around it and make like a little sunroom. Really what I'm doing is just trying to keep a uh, oregano plant alive. But I've got some shelving. I'm gonna put in some wire racking in there and uh, check the temperatures and then uh, see how much this raises it. Because the building has a little heater in it so it is putting off some heat so I'm curious how many degrees it will raise it. And then I could always open the window if I needed to and let the heat out into the green room, into the greenhouse room. I don't know what I bought this for. I bought this for some project and uh, you can see that it turned out awesome <laughs> because here it sits and I'm scrounging this wood up. I don't remember what I bought this for. Oh, I bought it for the uh, roofs, for the dog kennels. And, uh, they turned out great, as you see right here. I love these uh, contractor extension cords, but I usually buy these 100 footers and uh, I keep them for emergencies. And inevitably, some asshole who comes here will open it up. They won't grab the one that's opened. They'll grab the brand new one right there and leave it like that. And then once it's unwound, it'll never wind back as compact. And you can see, I buy them and hang them here, and I typically have a bunch of brand new ones. All of these that are unwrapped, I didn't unwrap a single one of these. I'm not the asshole that unwrapped any of these, but they're constantly, I'm, I need to just lock, put all that shit when I buy new shit, put it in a place where it can't be gotten to. Okay, I have the tools I need. I have the two by fours that I need. I already have the four wheeler over here that has the tools on it that I'm going to use and the uh, screws and now I'm going to go over here I've been putting off uh, putting air on the four wheeler and I have a little compressor I have an enormous compressor also but um, I have this little compressor right here just like this shit these were sitting here somebody drove over these I don't know who did it but it's it's for the most part ruined those they will never uh, be of any use again I mean we can cut them off and lose 36 inches of those hoses there but they're rud they're rigid and they have this reinforcement inside them so now um, they're complete track brand new brand new there's another one that's what they're supposed to look like these have needed air for quite some time I don't know why that didn't uh, just seat when I push that in there I run them super low pressure because I'll put 100 pounds of feed on the front uh, and the back, actually 200 pounds. So I'll have some pressure in them, but with that much weight, got to put it into four wheel drive pretty frequently and uh, they'll just spin. So having lower pressure in the tires with a proper driver and low pressure off-road will beat a poor driver with four wheel drive every single time, just with tire pressure and skill, right? Right. 
And this is the DeWalt saw base. I guess that's what this is. Been pretty awesome. And that's the Cobalt, whatever kind of saw that is. You guys uh, can tell me. I'm sure you've already told me a hundred times in comments, but uh, this thing's been great. And uh, especially when coupled with that thing. You know when you just do normal shit through the day? You don't think nothing of it. And then like 10 hours later at midnight when you're in bed, and you're like, man, I don't know why my back hurts. I don't know why my leg hurts. I don't know why my pinky finger toe hurts. It's always that, right? You just <laughs> did some shit, didn't think nothing of it, and then swung it up in here. That's what it is. If you haven't seen, Amanda's been making these pain salve. It's got, I don't know, it's got a dozen things in it. And uh, I've been using it for probably two months now. And uh, at night, I'll be like, man, my, my wrist hurts or, you know whatever and uh so just take this and it's it's got a beeswax to it so it's more waxy than uh lotiony and she'll just rub it for a couple minutes and i don't know if it's rubbing it that's helping into the pain salve it's really both i'm sure the rubbing helps a uh, little massage in it in and you just absorb it and you don't feel greasy or oily or slimy or anything and uh, i've done it a few times during the day we'll be in here because I work out early in the morning, I'll have a bunch of people, and we run really, really high speed on Wednesday. A lot of back and forth. Uh, mostly my own fault, uh, poor planning, right? Running from here to there to get this thing, and this thing for a video, and this thing for, you know, laptop, whatever. And uh, I'll be pissed, and I'm like, man, my leg hurts, man, my leg hurts. And uh, we'll come in usually around 12, 30, 1 o'clock for lunch, and we all meet up in the kitchen. And I'll be like, hey, my, my leg hurts, can you put some of that on there? And then a couple hours will go by, and all I've forgotten all about it, Brandle or Scully or somebody will be like, hey, how's your knee feel? And I go, man, it, I, I didn't think anything about it, so it must be working really well. I've forgotten completely that it even hurt, and that's the pain soft, and that stuff's working. Um, by the time you see this video, I don't know, uh, availability of that pain salve, but it's on the website soetacticalgear.com. Those are online and you can order them. They're two ounces. It's a small jar, but you're only going to use a very small amount. And uh, I've been working for two months, I've been working out of a two ounce jar. So if you're interested in it and uh, or you want to discuss it further, just hit us up. And uh, it's all 50 state legal. There's no like weed, THC, nothing's going to make you pop positive on a test. I don't know if you would anyways if it's a, a topical but anyways even if you ate it or stuck it up your b-hole um you won't test positive there's nothing in there that you're not allowed to have in some place allowed versus able right i don't think anybody should say what you do as a human being or especially an adult but if you are tested someplace this won't affect you now i'm gonna haul see that's what i'm talking about i turned this camera on probably 20 minutes ago I started gathering all this stuff up and here I am talking to this camera rather than building this thing and it's currently 315. All right so what I think I'm going to do is just build a box here and a box here and then plastic over all of it right just like vis queen or whatever so that that's enclosed. Frame this and then make just a door it'll go in there just very simple to enclose this by enclosing that the heat coming off of here will warm this that south so it'll catch this sun basically from eight in the morning nine in the morning till four or five o'clock it'll heat this box right here and then if i need to it's warm in here 20 degrees warmer probably i could literally open this window and just let the heat into there but i'm not uh trying to grow stuff i'm just trying to kind of sustain things i think i can fit a wire shelf rack here i definitely can here and then we can use it for seed starting or you know whatever Man, you made that look really hard. You know what I don't have? 
I don't have a damn tape measure. Do we have one in here? Nope, wasn't in there. Found it. I knew where there was a bunch of them. I just didn't want the big 30, 35 footers. I just wanted this small one. These things are great. And I've got a bunch of them. I don't know where they're at. So I just put several more in the Amazon cart. Very pleased with these. And I'll just keep one uh, everywhere. And I've got these charge blocks also I've been using. You plug it in. It takes the footprint of one outlet space. But it has four ports. And it'll run all four at the same time. It's got a couple A's. It's got some C's. So you can charge multiple devices out of one socket. And I've been very pleased with those also. I can't remember the brand. But anyways, here we go. Best safety goggles in the world, says Adam Savage. Adam Savage here with a tool tip. I like being smart. Today's tool tip is about goggles. These are my favorite consumer level goggles. They're made by DeWalt. I love how light they are. So I've recently ordered a couple of new pairs of these DeWalt's. Here are the things I like about them. I like the polycarbonate lens. I really like how lightweight they are, and I like this rubber seal. If you look up close, they fit my big glasses frames really, really well, and they're actually nice and comfortable. Because of their light weight, it doesn't feel like something's pulling on my face. And a low threshold to entry encourages use. These are the DeWalt safety goggles, and they've actually been pretty good. I'm sure I look absolutely ridiculous wearing them, but I've actually gone out in public and not even thought about having them on. I can't even imagine. Amanda loves it when I wear these to dinner. That's right, because I'm about to cut another one. Shed's a little out of square by my calibrated eye. These compensate for it though. Which piece is which? I know that I should be drilling this. Every time I do this, I split this. Every time I make a raised bed or something, I end up splitting the board I'm going into. I even have a drill. I didn't bring it out here. Which one's which? Let's find out. Putting this together damn well. Once <laughs> it's together, it's gonna be cockeyed just enough that it won't go in there. Yes, single screw, not load bearing. This is literally going to fit in that opening, like that window frame, that opening area with plastic over it to hold a little more heat in. These people should be held accountable. What do you think I'm listening to? And I agree with it, by the way. Shit. <laughs> Just like I said. Fucking nowhere near fitting in here. What in the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? You know what I don't have? I don't have a hammer or a mallet. Okay, it's in there. When I cover it in plastic, it's not gonna go in there. So we will uh, just adjust a little bit, but this is what I'm after. This, put one here, make a larger one here, and then put a basically a little screen door kind of. That's what I'm doing. It's taking a lot longer with uh, you guys watching me. 